In this video, we will be talking about link building. We're going to talk about link building method number one, content links. With content links, you're actually creating a relevant and valuable content that you can offer to websites within your niche market. So this is content that's completely unique and it's a barter strategy. So in exchange for them hosting your content on their website and gaining exposure for you to their readers, you're giving them quality, unique content. So it's gonna help them out and it's a win-win situation. You gain exposure, they actually gain quality, unique content, which in turn helps their overall SEO strategy as well. So these kinds of, of content that you would create is an infographic. One idea, it's an infographic, which is a graphic loaded with content, information that's well-researched and related to your niche market. You could actually outsource the creation of this. You could create it yourself. But an infographic is just loaded with valuable information. So this could be a really good resource that you could leverage that they could host on their website exclusively and have their readers share it. It could be an interview that you do. That could be another piece of content. So maybe it's an interview you've done with somebody, even a written interview or an MP3 that they could then host on their website. It could be a video, a video training course, a video method, a strategy that they could exclusively upload to their website. Updated news. That is another uh, thing that you could do. Maybe it's updated news related to, related to your niche market. A guest blog post or article for their site. This is the more common method. It's called a guest blog and that's where you are a guest blogger. You write a post for them. And what you want to do is you want to look for people that are looking for guest posts or looking for content within your niche market. And you could also find the players in your niche even if they're not actively saying they want to have guest bloggers or they want content. Sometimes the best ones to contact contact are the ones that aren't necessarily pursuing it and this would be a good chance to get in touch with website owners and players in your niche on Facebook on Twitter on LinkedIn connect with them get to know them get to know their brand their website what kind of content their readers like and then you could create a really high value piece just for them and so you could contact people until you get a yes from somebody and you could create that contact or the other idea here is you create the content first and then you shop it around to the first taker that will take that unique piece of content whether it's an article you've done and it needs to be of the utmost quality so the article may be 500 to 1000 words or more super high quality article you want to look again for the authority sites in your space that could use your content use Google to find these link opportunities out there so you could do Google searches for your keyword phrase so you could do things like uh, golf uh, do simple searches for your keyword golf magazine golf blog golf information golf tips and look for what kind of main websites come up what websites are people actually looking for in your niche do a Google blog search and look that uh, those up uh, that information up Use Google Blog Search again to identify blogs in your niche that you can create content for. Find places that your market or client's market hangs out. So whether it's an online forum, if it's a special social media site just for golfers, there are many of those kind of sites out there. Find out where your target market is hanging out. What websites do they frequent? And then you can see if you can get content in front of them. What are the big players in your niche? And a simple Google search for like golf training, golf tips, a dog grooming, whatever the case is, those are the types of resources you want to come across. You could do the phrase golf and that's going to bring up more industry uh, sites, bigger sites, larger sites within your niche that are the higher authority sites. They're going to show up in the first 10 results and those are the kind of sites that you would want to pursue for your content first and get yourself listed on those high authority websites. It's a slower method of link building, but it's highly effective when you do land the right deal. It takes time because you have to create a completely unique, high quality resource, uh, but again, it's highly effective because you gotta create the resource and find somebody that will host it for you or that is willing to, to actually add your content to your website with a link back to you. But if you can accomplish this, you're going to be way ahead of the game. It all starts, though, with a good quality content piece. And at the end of the day, if you don't find any takers, which is highly unlikely if you put in a lot of effort to research it, you could always use that highly unique content that's quality on your own website and then start over again until you find a piece of content that fits with what they're looking for. Link building method number two, this is where you try and get local community involvement and try and obtain some backlinks. This one takes longer time commitment 
and it's it's definitely a lot longer time commitment. It involves you literally creating buzz around involvement in your community. So it's something you're doing within your community. Whether it's running free classes to help people in your community, whatever the case might be. So let's say you're a weight loss or fitness coach and you are reaching a global audience, you reach a very large audience with your ebooks, with your training, or maybe with your affiliate site. And you want to go out to your local community though and run free classes to teach people how to lose weight or free classes to teach people simple at home exercise routines or teach computer classes on how to, to use certain pieces of software. This could be a great opportunity for you to run free classes in your community, speak at local events or school functions, host a giveaway or a contest locally related to your business to kind of generate some buzz start a scholarship offer so that means you could offer $500 scholarship for people in your community or people graduating from a certain high school develop a partnership with a local business participate in a local charity event get involved there build value in your community and then get links going into your website so again it's good to be involved in your community that's a huge thing so you obviously if you're gonna get involved in your community don't just do it because you want to get something back uh, but if you are gonna do some sort of community involvement think of it as a way as another place that you could get a backlink as well leverage the PR public relations for your involvement with a press release and then use that to get backlinks obtain links from the local group you were involved with as well so if it was a local chamber of commerce and they let you host a class ask them if they would be willing to link to your website because you've added value to them they may be willing to link into you those local chamber of commerce websites can actually be loaded with value in the backlink because google views chamber of commerce sites as a high authority website the school blog that would be enormous if you were speaking at a school and they had a blog or a .edu domain or uh, a Washington you know wa.gov it's a government type website linking to you or maybe it's a charitable organization that you helped and volunteered with a link from any of these sources is going to be absolutely huge and that one link could propel you way far beyond your competition so this method here is one that again it's gonna take time actually just about any of these link building methods nowadays take time and they take effort that's why it's all about pursuing the quality links which getting a link from a chamber of commerce a school blog a charitable organization those are super quality links and so they're worth your time but it does take more effort than it used to take to get backlinks it's no longer just emailing webmasters and trying to get backlinks or writing content and just submitting it into 10,000 places it's all about being uh, focused and taking hard action towards a specific goal resource links this is where you create a resource that will be popular and interesting for your niche market so in, in this one you're actually gonna host this content on your website and prospect or look for sites that will link to it so it's kinda of different from the other method where you're creating a unique piece of content uh, in method one where they actually host it on their particular website and it's just found on one website but in this case you're creating a super high value resource that other websites in your niche would want to link into so look for sites with a similar resource list and ask to be included on that resource list so go out there uh, you could actually look for sites that maybe have a resource related to the top fitness bloggers or the top weight loss tips or the top whatever find resource resources within your niche on other niche blogs or other niche sites that people frequent and maybe contact them and say hey I have a great resource that maybe you could link to as well to add to your article don't just look for any site to get a link from again it's all about having quality backlinks make sure you're getting a link from a trustworthy site and remember again a few quality inbound links will go a long way for you research the content before creating it make sure it's super high value make sure it's something your niche market wants make sure it's a high demand piece of content find potential websites that you can get a link from so anybody within your niche that has your target audience they could be somebody that you could say hey I've got this really great resource I think your readers or viewers would appreciate it would you mind sharing this even if you can just get them to not only not even put it on their website but just to share it through Twitter or through Facebook that's gonna help you as well because you're gonna get social signals from an authority site and who knows somebody in their audience may re reblog it or post it onto their personal blog or something like that Look for information that is out there within your niche that you could approve upon as well. Be very focused on the user value. Super high quality content is how to make this link work for you. 
ideas for an effective resource. So here's some ideas if you're going to do the resource link strategy, which again is where you create a super high value resource and then you go out there and prospect for websites that may want to add your content to their list or add it to their website or share it with their users because it is a high value resource. The one thing again to keep in mind here is people at Google will tell you this, some SEO experts will make you think and believe that the best thing to do with, with link building is build super high value content and sit back and watch the links roll in. Now we all know that it does not work that way. It's going to take some active effort on your part and that's where you're going to need to create that high value resource but you're going to actually have to put in the effort to go find those people. It's not saying that once your website or your blog gets more established and you get more traffic and, and more authority it's not saying that eventually uh, you could actually go away from that and just put up really high value resources and the links automatically come in that will happen once you get to that point but it's one of those things where you need to put in the effort you need to put in the effort to find websites to link to so it's it still involves some effort you're still you're not just gonna it's not like a field of dreams where if you build it they will come you need to have a good resource and then you need to actively go out there and find those people so as we're talking about this resource let's talk about effective uh, resource ideas this would be a list article things like top 15 ways to improve your golf game top 25 golf articles of all time Top 10 free golf apps. Get ideas from BuzzFeed.com for resource ideas. You'd be amazed at BuzzFeed.com. They have all kinds of resources. Now, most of their stuff at BuzzFeed is, is kind of off-the-wall content and information, uh, but you could actually get some ideas for how they word their headlines. That's why I encourage BuzzFeed.com, not so much because it's content that you would want to share or that you would want to use, but you would want to format your content related to your niche, kind of like how they do a lot of their articles. And they have some goofy articles and goofy stories on there, but they will Will actually take like the way they word their headlines are attractive so you could word your headlines in that same regard and do a list article or list content high quality video a controversial stance or opinion so this could be a controversial stance on a topic within your niche market uh, that is not going to be seen as popular or it's you know a super high valued opinion that people are going to like a case study these do really well so a case study where you show people this is how I lost this much weight or this is how I took 10 strokes off my my golf game or this is how I improved my golf game by five strokes and gained the respect of my peers and you could take people step by step through what methods you used how you swung what kind of clubs you used how you to, did your stance everything it could be a complete case study this is how I made an extra five hundred and fifty dollars over Christmas so do a nice really high value resource like a case study in any niche whatever niche you're in you could do a case study you could even do a case study related to dog grooming and talk about how you got you know high praise from people and you groomed your dog in such an awesome way that that people were just taken aback and blown away or whatever but you could do a case study on just about anything you know if you have a wedding blog this is how so and so this is a case study of how so and so did an entire wedding for under fifteen hundred dollars a secret tip or resource this is another one secret tip or resource so kind of a secret tip and it may or may not be secret but it could be a secret to you or something that you use internally uh, within your business an infographic we've kind of touched on what that is viral share worthy content so this is all content uh, that people would want to share that people would want to link to so it needs to be a super high value resource it might take a hundred of the top golf tips of all time or something like that top 10 golf tips or top 100 golf quotes of all time or top 55 golf movies these kind of things you know they may seem uh, you know not the most valuable to you uh, but it's actually stuff people will want to link to people are interested in create content that is engaging and gets people to comment back to you something like the top 10 golf movies of all time that's going to get golf people that are golf enthusiasts to land on your website it's going to get golf related websites to share your content and it's also going to be create that kind of controversy because there may be uh, several golf videos that you didn't include in your list that people are going to now question and go hey why wasn't this video included why didn't you have Caddyshack that's one of the funniest ones or whatever it's going to create engaging content that's going to create a little controversy and get people to comment and go back and forth and so that would be just one idea of a resource that could become shareworthy or could become viral and it relates to your niche market 
generate traffic to this content. You could also generate traffic to this really high quality content um, with paid social media traffic on like Twitter, on Facebook, on using a source like Outbrain or Tabula. These are sources that you find at the bottom of a lot of websites. These sources do cost more money, so you do need to have quite a bit of income to use Outbrain or Taboola and what those do is those are the sources that you see on the bottom of like CNN.com, FoxNews.com, some of the very large largest websites out there plus smaller websites you'll see these ads at the bottom and they actually are, are really they look like well disguised articles and when you click on it you're transferred through a link through a service like Outbrain or Taboola which takes basically just you know it's just a source it's a pay-per-click type deal where for every click that you get or every impression oftentimes with those it's more of an impression based so for 10,000 impressions it's gonna cost you this much money or 100,000 impressions on these popular websites it's gonna cost you this much money but what that does is that gets you a certain amount of visitors to your website and these visitors could end up liking your resource sharing it that would increase your social engagement increases your backlink opportunities it's a really good way to kind of seed your content and get a lot of value from it in the share regard social sharing but that's more of a I'd say an advanced strategy it's not something you want to do right away until you have more experience make sure though on all your articles and your resource whatever you do you have a way to get people onto your email list encourage them to join your your newsletter join your email list that way you also are getting those people on to your email list that you can follow up with at a later time. Link building method number four, content distribution. This is getting exposure for your content on sites that allow submissions, and this can be really great for your brand. So Web 2.0 sites that allow you to create quality user-generated content can provide some inbound links and exposure. So these are sites, it's not as difficult to get links here. You're actually creating, again, high quality content that's going to benefit the user, but you're actually creating it and actually submitting it right onto these websites. It's not as effective as they used to be, but it's still a valid way to get traffic because these sites can still get a lot of traffic and results. Consider how much free traffic these sites can get for you. Traffic, again, is all about exposure. If you are found a thousand times on the internet, then there are a thousand different places where people could find you, as opposed to just being found on a hundred different places. It's important that you always create unique content. It's especially for these kind of resources because that will actually impact if your resource can show up or not and that's where eventually to have a really quality link building campaign you need to have a paid writer on staff and it may not cost you that much money even if you're a small one-man operation which many of people are you could outsource for five dollars an article or ten dollars an article so you need to have good quality content created by people Sites you can submit your content to, and again, these are subject to change at any time, uh, but this is squidoo.com. It's where you create a page loaded with content uh, related to your niche market. So you have all kinds of content there. It could be RSS feeds from blogs. It could be unique articles and content lists that you have created, uh, those types of things. Hubpages.com, easingarticles.com. These are three of the larger websites where you can create unique content on them and then actually get a backlink going. Again, these are subject to change if any of them aren't there. Uh, you can also do a search on Google using the phrase related colon hubpages.com, related easingarticles.com, related squidoo.com. And what that does within Google is that Google will actually go and say, hey, here's websites that are related to easing articles, or here's websites related to hub pages. These are the three more authority ones, but there are many other content sites that you could actually create content for and submit it on there without having to go through the approval process. This method is a little quicker in the sense that you can take your content piece, instantly go out to easing articles or Squidoo and have that content listed out there. It might take a few days to get approval, uh, especially on like easing articles, but again, it's one of those where you could have a link going into your site. And this is one though where you don't want to focus way too much time on because it's not going to benefit you too much if you have a pile of links coming from easing articles and no links anywhere else. The reason you want to be out there though is because easing articles can send you a lot of individual traffic because they do rank well in the search engines and they've actually done stuff to improve their rankings uh, more recently. They had a big drop off and they've actually improved things again uh, by making content unique and really quality. Uh, Squidoo.com, Hubpages.com, they're always looking at ways to maximize their traffic as well which in turn helps you also. And so getting your content 
content there is going to be key, but you also don't want to get like 25, 30 links from Squidoo. You want to try to get one or two really good links from Squidoo, maybe find a few other sites you can do this with, and then focus on some of the other link building methods that we're discussing here. So here's another idea. If you go to related colon uh, squidoo.com uh, what you're going to find here is another site called wisley.com it's a writer's community uh, there's helium.com these are all additional sites similar to squidoo uh, and then if you go up after you find the site Weas uh, wisley there you could do related colon wisley and find another site there's zoo java which is a site where you can uh, write similar to squidoo uh, notice squidoo shows up when you do a related search for wisley and then another one seek it so these are all additional websites, uh, SeekYT, um, that you could actually go to and actually submit your content to and get additional exposure from a high authority Web 2.0 site. Search for relevant sites that allow content submissions as well. So see example below. Um, this is where I'm using the phrase fitness uh, for the keyword. So this would be like guest blogging, blogging as is oftentimes referred to. So the phrase fitness and submit article and you want to use the quotes in this examples because that's going to only pull up articles that are using the phrase or websites that actually are related to fitness and this articles this method is not the best if it's more of a generic site although easy and articles gets a lot of traffic squid and hub pages those all do uh, but you want to find sites that are more related to your niche you want to find sites related to fitness that are looking for articles to be submitted that means somewhere on their site they've listed hey submit article submit your content you'll Notice down there I have submit article, um, submit article and fitness. That means it's going to bring up the combination together. Fitness and submit blog post. So golf and submit blog post. Dogs and submit blog post. Dating and submit blog post. Weight loss and submit blog post. So you get the idea of how this is going to work. Submit article fitness. Submit content fitness. Guest post fitness. So you can try it with quotes, without quotes on the keyword, and also uh, using quotes most of the time uh, when you're going after like the phrases submit content, guest post, submit article. So an additional way to get content distribution, notice if you do the phrase fitness and submit article, it's going to pull up 444,000 results that are actually using the phrase fitness and submit article. And then you need to kind of weed through and see which ones would be good, which ones wouldn't be best for you, uh, those types of things. But here's one like if you were in the fitness space, uh, Hive looks like Hive Health Media looks like a pretty quality potential source for you um, where you could actually get your content there. Uh, IndiaDiets.com, those those types of things. So these are all websites that you could Muscle Mag Fitness. Uh, it's like a muscle magazine. That one's looking for articles. So you want to go to these sites, kind of look at their page rank, get an idea as to how quality these sites are. And it, this could be a really good strategy for you, especially if you're doing it, diversifying it. So when I was talking about not focusing on this strategy for just Squidoo, I was meaning don't link, uh, put up 25 articles on Squidoo and expect that to have a huge impact on your link building. Remember, it's all about diversity. So if you can do this strategy, though, you can see there's thousands of potential sites that that you could get a unique content piece written for and submitted to. As long as they have a good page rank, as long as they're a high authority site, a magazine type site like eDoctor Online, that's a pretty high authority website. If you can get an article listed on these sites, it's a big win for you as well. Uh, guest posts and fitness, you'll notice uh, nerdfitness.com, one of the more popular fitness sites out there, they actually are looking for guest posts uh, from time to time, uh, depending on the niche that you're in. Now, this one is fitness, and there's many other ways you could do it you could type in guest post and golf guest post and uh, you get the idea sports and outdoors so whatever your niche market is that's what you would include instead of fitness there just to give you an idea but this strategy is a great one because you can create that content and get it submitted without having to go around and hunt down uh, one or two really good uh, websites again those methods all work as well so every one of these four content link building methods that we've talked about are all super high quality ways to get backlinks and it's going to get you the quality links that you are seeking. So now we're going to talk about more link building strategies in the very next video.